Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a couple fall items for your house and we're going to start off with this beautiful banner. Measure the length you need for the ribbon and then drawing out our triangle pattern which is going to be 6 inches wide by 7 inches long. And then we're gonna draw out our pattern for our pumpkin, which is gonna be more of a long, skinny pumpkin. And just make sure it's about the same width as the triangle. Now that we have our two patterns, we're gonna go ahead and cut out our pumpkins. We need six pieces. And we need to cut out six pieces in the tool. Once that's done, we're gonna put them wrong sides touching. Taking a green ribbon, I'm gonna loop it twice. And it measures seven inches. And I'm just gonna sandwich that in between the pumpkins. So all the way around and leave a spot to stuff it. We need to close our opening and sew two curved lines down the middle. Once that's done, I'm just gonna fray the edges. I want the edges on my pumpkin sprayed and my triangles sprayed. And then I'm just gonna tie a bow and glue it on. Now we're moving on to the triangle pieces and we have to cut eight. We're gonna put two of them together, wrong sides touching, sew all the way around, and fray the edges. Now we're gonna lay out our ribbon, find the center, and start laying out our pieces. We're just gonna put them on the ribbon and fold over the ribbon on top of them and pin it. Once all the pieces are on, go ahead and sew it or glue it. And I put elastic at the end of mine so that I can put it on my command hooks. Now we're gonna make this fall inspired tassel decor. And we're gonna start off by taking a piece of cardstock that is five and a half inches long Wrap our twine around 25 times. And then we're gonna tie off the top. Once we have that tied, we're gonna slide it off the cardstock. Taking a different color, if you want to, and tying about two inches down, and then straightening out the bottom. And now we just have to weave that string through so that we can tie it onto anything. <music> Lastly, we're gonna be making this fabric pumpkin. We're gonna cut out two rectangles that are 10 inches long by 16 inches wide and put them right sides touching.
and then either sew or glue the sides. Then we're going to flip it right sides out. Taking a needle and thread, I'm just going to do a running stitch along the bottom. If you're using a machine, then just base stitch it. I'm going to pull the thread tight so that it comes together. Then you just sew it closed. Repeat the same thing for the top and then go ahead and stuff it. Pull that tight and sew that closed as well. Now we're just gonna make a stem by cutting out two little rectangles, gluing them right sides touching, flipping it right side out, stuffing that, and then gluing it to the pumpkin. And then I decided to tie a ribbon on it. 